let's start our uh, another industry that is uh, tourism um tourism is basically it's a tertiary industry right uh, it is the example of it is part of second uh, tertiary sector right what do you mean by tertiary industry beta uh, which provides services right uh, services uh, like in terms of like uh, if i'll give you more example for tertiary industry like tourism is one of the examples then call center that we will study after tourism that is also one of the examples then we have doctors engineers lawyers bankers uh, wholesaler retailers traders all are etc etc all are part of tertiary sectors right okay so uh, first we should know what is tourism uh, as i told you tourism is an industry where tourists explore new areas for leisure right right in front of you there is one definition given for tourism that might be asked for you to you to uh, define tourism tourism it comprises the activities of person traveling to and staying in places or outside their usual environment for not more than one consecutive year for leisure business and other purposes that is called tourism and that particular person is called tourist right another uh, definition that uh, i want you to write it in your journals beta that is uh, uh, the definition of another definition of, you know, of tourism is a business of providing accommodation and recreational facilities for the people okay now i'm repeating again tourism uh, is a business of providing accommodation and recreational facilities for the people who are traveling visiting and staying in an area for a limited time period for a limited time period right that is called tourism right now uh, and the person would be called as i told you tourist there are basically better two types of tourist who visits uh, tourist definitely visits right the area uh, number one is local tourist or we can call it as a domestic tourist right and another one is uh, basically uh, that is foreign tourist right these two types of tourist right they do come and visit uh your area okay now uh it is the world fastest what is tourism it's a world fastest growing industry it's an important factor in country's economy it plays a vital role in order to develop country's economy if i'll give you the example of different countries uh, those are the economies based on those uh, in tourism right that is one of uh, one of those countries that is uae right gulf states right now they are turning saudi arabia as part of uh, where they can uh, they they started uh, establishing or developing their country for tourist spots as a tourist spots also right pakistan again it's one of the tourism sector i will say right domestic and foreign tourism in pakistan's present at small scale right that is unfortunately but i hope so in future the tourism would be definitely boosted or that would be one of the uh, large scale industry inshallah that is uh, okay the another one is why uh, as i told you there are two types of tourists those visit one is foreign tourist as uh, it was mentioned uh, by ms fozi also the countries for diff uh, the tourists from different countries like for germany europe in most of the european countries holland uh, uh, they do visit and uh, on yearly basis and visit and explore our pakistan right and the local tourists are like we like uh, if i uh, we talk about ourselves like uh, uh, during winter vacation we do uh, go and visit the northern areas of pakistan especially the people those are residing and in summer vacation also those are residing in uh, extreme southern part of pakistan they do go and visit during uh, summers uh, northern areas of pakistan to explore so we will be considered as a local tourist and uh, because we go for a short time period and then we explore and then then we come back to our uh, destination right 
uh why is tourism important to boost country's economy definitely right that is the main purpose okay uh the other purpose would be for studies and uh, research also some of the people they do come and visit areas uh, ex explore areas for study purpose for research purpose right uh, some archaeologist uh, archaeological sites are there like texla harappa right people do go there uh, for further studies right and they do come uh, these some of the people they do come to pakistan um to meet their relatives right like for example uh, from uh, us canada for from uh, uae from european countries the people on their vacations they come and visit there they meet their relatives here they do come pakistan right and for religious uh, purposes also some of the people they do come like uh, the examples was given to you for kartarpur corridor right uh due to their different pilgrimages right they do come here like the way we go to saudi arabia for hajj and umrah some other people also the, they belong to different religions like uh, sikhs are there hindus are there uh, they do come and uh, for religious purposes right and uh, uh, uh the for adventure also the people do and uh, visit those areas and for all these activities what do we earn we do definitely earn foreign exchange uh if the foreign tourists they do come right so other than that okay these are the basic basic types of tourism that we should know domestic tourism internal tourism these both are same thing right domestic means within pakistan or internal also means within pakistan right when we go and explore different areas then national also same thing right and the the next thing is that is international tourism that is different so first three are same right they go under the same category that is internal domestic and national tourism the second type is international tourism that is different international tourism like we go as pakistanis and visit uh, us visit european countries go to turkey in order to explore more right so we will be considered as that is called as international tourism right or likewise the other people like foreigners they do come and visit our country that is that would be part of international tourism like right and domestic tourism internal or national tourism is when we go within pakistan and explore new area right uh, again uh, the direct contribution of tra travel and tourism uh, it was in 2013 it was uh, seven uh, 104.2 billion right uh, and definitely the 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 foreign exchange it gets increased yearly right that is a very old figure that i'm showing you right now so definitely that has been increased uh, with the passage of time okay i will be skipping some of the slides because that is not uh, very important for you to understand uh, because tourism is the topic that we have already studied in uh, grade nines also we in integrated with the topography chapter also right okay um uh, okay as i told you we have some archaeological sites historical and cultural sites and northern areas right uh, and people do go uh, tourists they get attracted to these areas right because when they go to the, those areas especially if we, I, i will tell you about the two uh, foreign tourists right they do want to visit the uh, desert areas of pakistan they do want to visit uh, the historical archaeological sites of pakistan um uh, to get to know the more about the history of pakistan and all right uh, they are not like local tourists i must say hum to northern areas mein jana pasand karte okay uh, other than that uh, um there are different sites are there just now we have mentioned where do tourists want to go right like uh munjudaro harappa texla these all are archaeological sites right uh, like if we talk about uh munjudaro the old indus valley civilization was there so people especially foreign tourists they do want to come and visit these areas right some of the pictures are there right in front of you likewise harappa is also we have museum in harappa right so it also shows the uh, the interesting facts and um, uh, about the poor houses of harappa and all these things um different artifacts are also there in that area so there is a very huge museum in Har uh, texla right uh, texla is also there right where you can uh, go and visit those areas and you can get to know the old traditional 
culture and uh, the people the way the people used to live in that area the they used to wear they used to work whatever the uh, uh, they used to do the work or jobs in that particular time period all their uh, remains are there so you can go and those are reserved in a properly manner so the tourists they do go and watch those areas and observe those areas especially um, and in order to get to know more about pakistan's culture and history right okay uh okay these all are the pictures i'll be going through quickly because uh, these are uh, the areas where the people can go uh, these are basically tourist attraction sites right in pakistan uh, some of you have asked me about better uh, these all are the examples that you will incorporate if the question is actually asking about uh, to what extent tourism could be uh, developed in pakistan so these all are the examples you should know if the people are coming to lahore so why are they coming to lahore where do they go and visit Uh, in that area, only you should know the examples, right? Like in Lahore, uh, that beautiful gardens are there, historical exotic spots are there, mosques are there, shrines are there, Mughal Mughal architecture and museums are there. Uh, again, the shopping centers, fairs, and festivals are there in Lahore, right? Those make Lahore an exotic uh, as an exotic place for people, right? So, like Badshahi Mosque is there, right? and uh, in shekhupur i will give you that is nearby lahore we have hiran minar it's, it, that is also a very historical place the people they do want to go and visit that area right gilgit baltistan again you know that it was discussed also uh, that is altit baltit fort is there and it is very famous for trekking we have uh, highest peaks there right and um, then other than that uh, polo matches those are uh, as ms uh, ms uh, shandur polo uh, ground that is the highest polo ground in uh, in the world right so yearly on yearly basis that polo festival it is it has been it's been organized so the tourists from different countries and local tourists also they do and uh, especially during polo uh, season right and that they go and they enjoy that festival and definitely the local people those are living there that is the high time for them to live their earning right you can connect it with other industries also as it is part of northern area so cottage small scale industries are common there so during that time when the tourists are coming to that area uh, they can earn their living for the entire year hunza again um uh, as i told you altit baltit fort right that is in gulgit baltistan and uh, kardu is also there in gilgit baltistan shigar kardu these all are the exotic places that where people can go and visit mari we all have most of us have visited mari right where we have bhurban patriata and ajubia right these are the hill stations there and uh, PTDC motels are also there where people can a tourist can go and visit uh, and stay there for uh, as a um, for the for the short period of time right these that is some of the uh, pictures from Sawat also where we have Kalam Sedu Sharif Malam Jabba and Gandhara civilization yes. the uh, that is also one of the archaeological place right where people can go and visit then these are uh, kagan valley pictures where lake temple moluk is there shogran lal lazar naran kagan mansar and balakot these all are the exotic places where people can go visit they can see different waterfalls are there uh, lakes are there streams are there tributaries are there again the how the people are living in those mountainous area you can visit those uh, terraces you can uh, experience those terraces how people are doing farming in those areas right these all are those different experiences that people can go and there also again uh, you can find different type of flora and fauna flora basically the type of vegetation that is found there fauna the type of uh, animals those are there right uh, like alpine if i'll talk about the flora alpine forest are there and you must have studied different types of forest uh, those are found in northern areas of pakistan okay uh, if we talk about uh, national museum they they have listed here 
ancient collection includes uh, indus valley civilization artifacts gandhara arts are there islamic arts are also there paintings ancient coins okay let's move in lahore museum uh, when you go there you can easily uh, visit that area and then you can start the mughal style buildings are there those are very attractive one of the attractions for the foreign tourists especially right it should be for us also as a local tourist definitely uh, where you can see ancient jewelry textile pottery uh, woodwork mughal art six doorways right because these are very beautiful places to visit then taxla museum as i have told you it is famous work for gandhara art okay peshawar museums are also there right so these all are basically examples of that you can incorporate in your answers right okay lok birsa museum that uh, every year in islamabad right uh, they organize that uh, festival there right that is basically heritage there right uh, where you can go living folks and traditional culture of pakistan you can visit you can buy jewelry woodwork metal work ivory and bone work everything you uh, that is near to shakarpuria hills then we have hingol national park one of the uh, that is in balochistan then kithar national park is also there then we have punjab national park there you must visit that park that is in uh, gilgit baltistan no we we will find uh, we can find uh, snow leopard mark mark polo sheep Himalayan ibex Okay this is Hazar Ganji Chiltan National Park Again we can find here a markor which is a national animal of Pakistan A Jubia National Park these all are the examples right so that is i'm quickly going through this magla hills located these are the mountain ranges basically those are uh, you can see in islamabad area okay these are some of the again pictures i hope no one is sleeping right then inshallah we'll discuss advantages disadvantages who slept <laughs> this is kalash valley okay this is sawat then these are mud volcanoes in balochistan then again gilgit baltistan exotic uh, rivers you will find there where there you can find lush green valleys also this, this is rakaposhi mountain Okay, this is Katas Raj Temple that is found in Pan Chakwal in Punjab, right? This is one of the remains of uh, Buddhist stupa. People do go and visit that area, right? Miss, where is that temple? Could you repeat? Chakwal in Punjab. Okay. Thank you. This is Hingol National Park. where you can find exotic uh, wildlife there in balochistan that is found in balochistan so this is chandur lake that is almost frozen in this picture okay so these all are the basically uh, that is uh, yes uh, you must have known this this uh, it has become a uh, uh, one of the tourist attraction for local tourists also that is in uh, balochistan that is called mula Ch chotak uh, that is in khuzdar in balochistan this is kashmir neelam valley atabat lake how many of you have visited that area okay these are some of the fairs and festivals uh, like polo uh, polo festival i show, uh, i have explained 
like basant is also one of the festivals when the, that was specially uh, organized and uh, uh, in lahore right specially uh, so people at that time number of tourists foreign tourists they do come come and visit uh, lahore uh, due to that because it's a cultural festival of uh, where the they can eat they can have their traditional food they can wear traditional dresses music and everything at that moment they can enjoy then in chandur mela where the folk music dancing fishing horse back back riding mountaineering hiking trout fishing everything is done in that area at that time period uh, at, at the time of that polo uh, polo match mela chiraga mela shalimar then okay jashn e bahara that takes place in the middle of fab tourists worldwide come to join in and celebrate it it decorates lahore with multicolored kites sorts of tourist attraction during basant time period only it is done then lok virsa folk festival that is also uh it's very common lok persa in islamabad they organize every year with artisans performers around the world they participate and in lahore also then silk road festival is also there which attracts silk route countries like china kyrgyzstan uzbekistan tajikistan now uh, these some of these events are stopped due to uh, different problems those were there in pakistan one of those uh, problems were uh, terrorism right so the due to during that time period uh, and after 911 also afghan war terrorist activities we had a lot of drone attacks and all due to all these problems the tourism were declined in pakistan then we have made a total attack also was there in islamabad but now alhamdulillah the situation is much be more better than these time period right uh, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah we came uh, out from that situation then we have sawat operation also at that time there was no tourism in pakistan at all right so these all were the problems um Uh, and yes that was a perception in many of the tourists mind that pakistan is a dangerous country so no need to visit that area right and then high inflation rate means the prices were high price food hotel transportation it became it was very expensive for especially local tourists so there was no affordability for the people so they stopped visiting pakistan uh, okay and then lack of infrastructure also one of the Uh, one of the problem right that we face now alhamdulillah if we want to go to gilgit baltistan the very good roads uh, 21 i think more than 21 tunnels they have made with the cooperation definitely with china uh, due to cpac one of the reasons is cpac right uh, we have well established infrastructure road infrastructure has been established in that area so we can easily go and visit that area okay and now the government is definitely uh, in a favor of establishing or boosting tourism otherwise it was not like that uh, awareness because when if we want to uh, ex ex uh, boost tourism right uh, the we have to strategize in order to uh, how what uh, to give awareness to people to publicize our places right uh, if you have noticed i have noticed since last two year two three years right on facebook on social media i must say there are different travel and tourist uh, um, uh, agencies are there those are exploring those are publicizing uh, tourist attraction sites in pakistan so for to attract more and more people to pakistan to get foreign exchange right so publicity is one of the factors those were was not at all there in pakistan so that that is that people were not aware of it that there is something to visit in pakistan right now let's talk about some of the advantages of tourism also uh one of the advantage is um, oh uh that is cultural exchange right interaction when the different people they do come and visit uh pakistan right what happens uh, they bring their culture to pakistan uh, they get to know about pakistan right so what happens due to that uh, the cultural uh, exchange is there right 
then the uh, and the another advantage is a boost of pakistan's economy definitely as i told you foreign exchanges aren't then development of infrastructure is also there when the foreign exchanges are, aren't that money is used to establish to develop pakistan's different areas of pakistan different sectors of pakistan uh to uh, to develop leisure facilities for tourists to build roads there to build hotels and motels there and local people also get benefit uh they get to uh, the uh, for local people the uh, the the hospitals are being opened there schools are being opened there so that area basically it gets developed in short right then local people they get job opportunities as tourist guide as hotel manager right at forestry uh, guide also forest guide also right um then living standard of that local people it, it gets improved right because the income per capita it gets improved then um uh, the relationship for a relationship of pakistan with other countries also gets enhanced right uh, like if we are doing tourism with china or we are doing tourism uh, the the tourists they are coming from Poland, from Germany, from any other European country. So when they go back to their country, they definitely, if they are taking uh, good things with them, definitely they will, uh, definitely they will uh, send other people. Oops, what happened? They send other people also um, back to Pakistan, right? So this is again, okay, this is again a benefit for Pakistan, right? So likewise, the food industry also it grows. Okay. Then other than that, beta, uh, cult. Uh, what are the disadvantages of tourism? Cultural degradation. Like our people, they get attracted towards the other people, uh, the tourist uh, uh, culture. They want to adopt their culture and they get uh, away from their own culture, right? So that is one of the disadvantage. Pollution. that was already we know that when the tourists they come to our country they do litter not only the foreign tourists local tourists are also involved in it which uh, which leads to degradation of natural environment right then one of the uh, one of the disadvantage of tourist industry that is it it is a seasonal employment it provides seasonal employment for the people those are living there right so uh, now let me ask uh, no one more thing from the countries from where the foreign tourists they come to pakistan as i told you let me uh, again tell you uk germany india se bhi hamare halat acche nahi wana india se bhi hamare paas local uh, foreign tourists aate the iran denmark ksa usa china egypt bangladesh uae iran from all these areas the tourists uh, they do come and visit pakistan uh, so we earn foreign exchange right mm, any question that you need to ask Uh, miss can you repeat uh, miss i do have a question yes ask um miss there's a q box on page number 182 uh, should i read on the question humanas humanas ji miss wait i'll open it uh, 182 okay then uh ah. could you like tell us that should we answer it in a way for to what extent or hum log iske liye advantages likhenge बेटा पहले तो तुम्हें दिस इज क्यू बॉक्स क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू रीड बोथ द स्टेटमेंट्स एंड यू हैव टू जस्ट फाइंड आउट व्हिच स्टेटमेंट यू विल यू विल बी इन अ फेवर ऑफ फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर फेवरिंग स्टेटमेंट ए ठीक है सो यू विल बी राइटिंग पॉसिबिलिटीज ऑफ स्टेटमेंट ए राइट फॉर एग्जांपल द क्वेश्चन स्टेटमेंट ए इज पाकिस्तान शुड स्पेंड मोर ऑन बिल्डिंग रोड इन रिमोट एरिया रिमोट स्पार्सली पॉपुलेटेड but uh, populated but tourist relevant areas in order to attract more visitors to them right so here you can write uh, the possibilities for example you can uh, mention here the silk road here which connects china and pakistan right so the tourists can go hmm. and visit that area other than that if you will go and google it you'll found uh, find out a number of tunnels have been into, on international standards they have built tunnels right i visited i think 2 3 years back when you uh, go by road and you uh, you will visit uh, you will go through those tunnels you will find that you are not in pakistan that much good uh, uh, excellent infrastructure has been developed in that area right so that is the possibility yes the tourism can be developed in such a way we have done it right or iske alawa uh, likewise you have to give a uh, possibility because that is again it is not densely populated area yes beta 
another possibility could it be that the pres provision of electricity provision of electricity and if it's there then that would attract tourists acha isme dekho on building roads in remote areas possible but tourists uh isme roads ki baat ki hai na to aapko usi pe focus karna hai ठीक है अदर देन दैट यू कैन गिव वन एग्जांपल अभी हमारे पास बलोचिस्तान की तरफ से जो हमारी मोटरवे बनी है राइट वी हैव मोटरवे स्टैब्लिश्ड दैट कैन बी दैट कैन हेल्प टू बूस्ट बलोचिस्तान टूरिस्ट स्पॉट देयर यू कैन गिव एग्जांपल ऑफ दोस बलोचिस्तान टूरिस्ट स्पॉट अभी हमने मर्ट फ्लोस देखे मर्ट वॉलकैनो दिखा दिखाए राइट uh you can give example their national park was darka jo national park tha that can be exploited uh, explored by the tourists right other than that makran coastal belt is there whether we have fishing ports right you give question focus on the question a uh, statement rather right the second uh, statement is to reduce the expenditure on developing facilities for tourists uh, elsewhere in pakistan they should be encouraged to stay in the cities where there are historical and cultural attractions so iske liye for the statement b you have to give uh, challenges wo keh rahe hain ki roads banane ke bajaye jo hai jahan cities ke andar jo archaeological historical sites hai na unko aapko jo hai encourage karna chahiye theek hai so for that you have to write the challenges wo can anyone tell me the challenge what would be the challenges for this statement b hello there would be no challenge am i audible to everyone hello um local tourists wouldn't want to stay in uh, their own cities to uh, visit the cultural attractions because they're not that um, well maintained okay then we, there you have to give example which cultural site right yes mm -hmm. that is that could be one of the reason, uh, challenge very good right and another challenge would be Uh, miss could it be that maintaining those historical and cultural attractions in a way that would be feasible to others ye yeah, hame challenge dena hai beta statement b ka challenge dena hai is it a challenge no ha ah, that you can write government is reluctant to invest capital uh, to renovate these historical sites of pakistan for example For example, Noor Jahan ka fort hai na Lahore mein. That is one of the uh, historical sites, right? And other than that, as I gave you example of Hiran Minar, that is also historical site. But again, maintenance nahi hai, government ki reluctance hai. Wo wahan ka hashan hashar hua hai. Log chizo tar ke le jaate hain, right? Is it clear to you? Yes. Hmm. then after that now we have written two challenges and two possibilities with example now we will be writing our conclusion is it clear uh, mahiba right uh, now yes miss okay any other question you can ask miss you gave another example other than uh, hiran minar uh, jahan pe there is not a lot of maintenance could you repeat that please नूर जहां फोर्ट है दैट्स इन लाहौर पूरा नाम उसका देख लेना किला ओके क्या कहते हैं नूर जहां का फोर्ट ही है वहां पे ओके अदर देन दैट दैट्स इट एनी अदर क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क नाउ ओनली कॉल सेंटर इज लेफ्ट इंशाल्लाह आई विल टीच कॉल सेंटर इन द नेक्स्ट ब्लॉक ऑफ ज्योग्राफी then this entire chapter of industries would be over and call center is very easy no no other question and why only 17 participants are there in this class and i think all are sleeping i am not going to share recording with everyone with any one of you because when i am here i am taking class why can't you attend class um uh, miss Mm -hmm. uh we had cement industry left for stream a i have uh, shared uh, i have shared day before yesterday recording on gcr 
Oh, okay. I might have missed it. I'll look into it then. Thank you. Yes, everyone, stream a student. Cement industry is done two days back. I've uploaded a recording on GCR. You don't get message? We get so many kills. I lost it. Okay, okay. So now I hope, uh, give me uh, honest feedback, right? I am open to everyone. Is Did you understand iron steel and uh, tourism in tourist uh, industry now? Koi doubt hai, koi hai, to abhi bhi Miss, um, tourism may, say, tourism is not an industry. This is just a clarification. Miss, जैसे हमने बाकी industries पढ़ी थी, जैसे cement पढ़ी थी और iron steel हमने भी पढ़ी, जिसमें raw materials, imports, outports, इस तरह की चीजें थीं। तो मिस tourism में तो ये चीजें नहीं आई ना obviously because in the beginning I said it is a type of tertiary industry and tertiary uh, industry it only provides services in which we don't need any input, we don't because we are not manufacturing anything, we are not processing anything, we are only providing services. Like, for example, wholesale and retailer, right? Uh, if any crop is being uh, or cotton textile product, ki baat karte hai, cotton textile product, the job of cotton textile product is to manufacture cotton. 